29% of all the electricity in the United States, possibly the world, is uh, gobbled up by lighting. The city of Los Angeles and working with Bill Clinton and the Clinton Climate Initiative, they made a very aggressive decision to transition all of their streetlights to LEDs. And they have over 140,000 streetlights, which they, they will eventually change over to LED technology. Uh, in the final analysis, we were one of two companies that were chosen for that project. LEDs are light emitted diodes. They're a solid state device that has uh, multiple components, starting with a chip and a lead frame and the anode and the cathode. And they're itty bitty tiny little devices that then are all encapsulated in something that looks like a plastic epoxy kind of material that protects all of those little components. We make these in various wattages uh, to compete even with a 400 metal halide light. But underneath there you have like an array of LEDs and we can increase or decrease that density to increase or decrease the light output. Up there, that's, what, that's a 70 watt high pressure sodium cobra head. It actually uses close to 100 watts. And compare that to the new LED fixture right down, the, right down the block there. And that puts out a white light, a better quality of light, and uses actually less than half the wattage. It uses about 44 total watts. With current technology, in general, you can cut the street lighting uh, load by about 50%, so you're cutting the energy in half. If you look at a municipality that has a lot of street lights and their utility bills are in the millions of dollars range per year, and, and we're talking about saving them 50% of that money, that's an incredible savings by switching to LED technology. The payback in terms of how long uh, it takes to recoup your investment of the transitioning has, has dropped considerably. So now it really makes economic sense for cities to do this. This neighborhood here, you know, probably uh, up until a few months ago, they had the typical yellow high pressure sodium lights that pretty much put light at the base of the pole. And how they're benefiting now is, of course, first of all, the knowledge that, you know, they're uh, cutting their energy costs in half, reducing, you know, our carbon footprint. But also the fact is that they're going to, their, their whole street is going to be lit up with white light. So this is me standing under high pressure sodium. So this is me under an LED uh, street light. Colors render pretty well under LED as compared with typical uh, high pressure sodium street lights. We're looking at maybe 10 years, 10 to 12 years before, you know, we really see LEDs everywhere. You know, right now you see a lot of it, but there's still, it's just in its infancy. Everyone in our company is really very proud to work for Leotech because we are making a difference. And I wouldn't say that, that the uh, company is recession proof, but we've been doing very well throughout the recession because we're supplying something to um, the world that's needed and it actually saves money. And everyone is about saving money these days.